and then I had a minor in marketing and um, core concentration in graphic design. Um, but I was thinking today I could kind of just walk through um, my experience at home. I was lucky enough to start working just a month after graduation, which is like good, but at the same time, now looking back, I kind of wish I gave myself the summer off. Um, but I was definitely anxious to start working. Um, just wanted to give you guys a little background on me, what I do, and we can keep this like super casual. If you have any questions along the way, um, let me know. So this is gonna be kind of silly, but <laughs> like I said, how I got from here being in PRSSA over to um, the photo on the right, which is a picture from the Publicity Club of New England. Every year they have these really big bell ringer awards and all different agencies, not just Boston where I'm based, but all throughout New England enter different case studies. So once you get into that class, um, that'll definitely set you up, although I know that was definitely a challenging one, um, but it'll definitely set you up for success. Um, so I did a lot of different things on campus. I think the really great thing about Roger Williams being so small is that, you know, and I know SPNL will like hit you over the head with this, but, like get involved. It's a great way to build some leadership skills, have some fun, make new friends. Um, but what I found super helpful, of course, was just internships experience along the way. Um, how many of you guys have done internships? Everybody? Good. Um, I mean, if you have one, that's great. Two, better, three, amazing. I think of whatever you can do to get experience along the way is super helpful. Um, but where have you guys been interning? Just throw it up there. Anybody? I did some uh, action leadership to the corporate and private clients. Nice. Anybody else? I was by your office at Mullen um, for a while mm -hmm. last uh, semester. Are you guys finding, um, I think personally, I was able to do a couple different things in different industries. So my first internship here was on campus over in the law school. Um, that's where they have the, or it's where they used to have um, the Office of Marketing and Communications for the school overall. So kind of doing like internal communication, things like that. Um, my second internship was at Great Salmon Wedding Style, which was a luxury wedding magazine um, just down the street in Warren. Um, so that was really cool to get some like creative writing experience under my belt. And then the last two um, at RDW Group and Beth and Shanley were two um, agencies based in Providence. So um, I think interning at those last two places really gave me good exposure to what I might be doing as an entry level. Um, but also kind of just opened my eyes to like, what an agency might be like. And I found that I liked it, so I applied to come. Any questions, comments? Cool. Um, so now I can give you guys a little bit of background about Comb. Um, so we have about 100 employees based in Boston and New York. Boston is our headquarters where most of our employees are, but we also do have a small agency in New York, um, we do have global capabilities because Cohen Communications is a part of a larger global um, Omnicom group, so we get to work with different sister agencies throughout the US, over in Europe, and the UK, um, so it's a really great place to collaborate. Um, I think one of the things that really drew me to Cohen was um, first just the people there, I found that a lot of people are like young, they don't discriminate against young college grads, um, everyone's super smart, really passionate about what they do, and very um, teamwork oriented. Um, so a couple things about what we offer, um, so we have several different pillars here, but we're a fully integrated um, PR and marketing communications agency, so we have um, a couple of different areas of expertise. Brand communications is the largest department, if you want to call it a department. Um, that's what I do with a lot of consumer PR. Um, we have a team of digital and social media experts, um, account planning, insights, and research. 
We have our own in-house creative team, which is super helpful. Um, and then we also do a lot with CSR and corporate um, responsibility. Has anyone taken the case studies class yet? So you probably have started, yeah. So you've probably started hearing about the different types of PR. Um, I'm curious what you guys are interested in. Or if you've kind of felt strongly about one over another. What do you think? Crisis communication. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Um, I don't know. I think I'm pretty good at um, crisis management and staying organized in that kind of situation. Anyone else? Um, well, I found myself drawn to consumer uh, PR, consumer publications, um, just because I thought it was one of the most relatable things. Um, because you know we all are consumers of different things, so I just was drawn to that, um, which led me to the brand education um, So speaking of clients, this is just a sampling of our current um, client roster. We have tons of different brands. Um, global brands, national brands. We do smaller regional and local projects um, from time to time, but we really do have a great depth of industries. We have food, fashion, tech. Um, you can see for yourself, we definitely have, we dabble in a lot of different industries. Um, so a couple things that I've been working on um, over the past two and a half years that had brand in the fashion, food, fitness, and health space. So again, one of the things that's really cool about um, working in an agency is that you'll wear many, many different hats and you'll get to you know, become an expert in several different industries and you're expected to you know, stay in the know and um, always be aware of what's going on in the news and if there are any opportunities for your clients to jump on a trend. Um, so, typical day, surprise is that there really is no typical day, at least when you're working in an agency, when you're working on three or four different accounts a day, um, each scope will be completely different. Um, so, again, very fast piece, but you get to do a lot of really cool things. So these are just a couple different categories. The media relations is huge, um, no matter where you go. Social media strategy, of course. Event planning and management can be fun but stressful. Um, celebrating partnerships. Um, for me, working on the Ortholite team, we've done some sports, <laughs> professional sports um, uh, partnerships, um, cause from a CSR perspective, advertising, and of course, even some internal and external communications on the client side. Any questions there? So this slide is just like a couple different of my favorite things that I've got to work on. Top left is a photo. Um, we did a media event for one of my for my barber client. We took um, local New York media and online editors up to um, like a shooting ground. So we did a whole day of immersion immersion day where we had um, clay shooting lessons, fly fishing. Um, the brand also has a partnership with the Land Rover, so we did an off-roads course. Um, so that was really cool. Um, there's a picture of Shailene Woodley, I think her name is. Um, so we'll do a lot of product placement and sending um, product to celebrities. Um, done stuff with the Color Run, Boston Marathon, the SMT, all that stuff. Um, so the next few slides, I'm not sure if anyone came to Cone for the um, Boston tours, but I just, before, before that group came in, just kind of surveyed my office to see, you know, what's something you wish you knew uh, when you were first starting, one, as your first day in PR, or first day at Cone, and I just wanted to share a couple things that are both serious and funny. You can take a sec um, to read. Um, I think on this page, one that I wasn't expecting, one piece of advice that I wasn't expecting to get back um, was to contribute to your 401k as soon as you get your first job, which if 
feel like this is something that you don't really talk about much in school, but definitely something very important. Um, you know, when you're looking for different jobs, you want to make sure that you do have good benefits included, and 404K okay is definitely a huge um, thing to talk about with HR. I also have some news sprinkled in here. Um, but NPR formatting definitely matters. Um, we're all about communications and visual communication if anybody's taken that class is, of course, as important as written communication. Um, in PR, you will always think something might be, you know, client ready and good to go, but I'm sure once the team starts circulating things around, you'll find that people have different styles of writing, um, different ways of wording things, so don't be discouraged when you start getting lots of edits or different feedback. Um, one thing I think everybody should do is to at least don't memorize the AP style, but definitely be familiar with it when you're writing, especially when it comes to like press releases or any um, media feeds and documents, you definitely want to have everything in AP style. A um, couple other things. Um, when you do get your first job, like don't be afraid to, you know, ask questions. Don't be afraid to speak up and share um, your own thoughts and ideas because I think sometimes, you know, when you get your first job, people might tend to be um, a little more reserved. They don't want to sound, you know, unintelligent. But good ideas can come from anywhere, so don't be afraid um, to speak up and ask for help. These are all kind of similar. Um, something I think we talked about a lot with the NPR system was dressing for the job that you want, not the job that you have. Um, and something that I found, at least at my agency, Cone, it's very casual, like we can wear jeans every day. Um, but of course, like if you have a client meeting, it's better to dress up to look a little more professional. But, you know, at the same time, it's fine to be like that. But if you do put a little more effort and be a little more polished, then people do take you more seriously. Um, I had to put Ryan Gosling in here. <laughs> um, but yeah, working in PR, we are a servicing agency. You might think something's perfect, and I think I touched on this a few minutes ago, but um, you know, you might be all aligned internally, but clients tend to have their own perspective and sometimes they have their own vision and you can of course provide strategic counsel and try to get them in the direction you want but ultimately you have to go and please the client. Um, a couple other things. Be in the moment. That's definitely important just because you know we have our cell phones, we bring our laptops to meetings. Whenever you're you know, at your first job, whether, you know, even if you do have to take notes, sometimes I like to just take notes, like old school way on a notebook, just so I can be more um, focused and engaged. Um, something else about PR, you have to be nimble because working at an agency, agency things change so, so, so fast. Um, like, I'll try to make a to-do list at the end of every day. Um, so once I come in the next day, I'll be, you know, fully prepared, um, but sometimes, you know, I'll come in and have a couple emails and my whole day changed. So just being able to be nimble and flexible is huge. That said, we work in PR, not the emergency room. Um, I think a lot of teams or clients or even like professors like Shelton, like you can think that, you know, it's end all be all, but at the end of the day, if you're ever getting stressed out, just like take a step back and be like, all right, you're not saving lives in the emergency room. This is public relations, it's fine. <laughs> um, and then this guy on the right, just always make sure you're paying attention to details. Um, if someone's asking you to send a file, make sure it's the right one, the right format, all that jazz. Um, and a couple of these, I think, um, might be a little harsher, but I think Shelton actually does a really good job of preparing us um, for the real world, trying to strive for that balance. I think anybody in college already does a really good job of that, especially if you're already 
taking classes and juggling an internship or a work study or you know clubs and orgs on campus um, definitely a good skill to have um, and you have to have a thick skin like I touched on like there's always going to be multiple rounds of edits someone else might have a better idea than you but like I said it's PR not ER um, as long as you learn not to take things personally um, Time. Um, and of course, being detail oriented. Um, so that's all I have. Um, I figured we could spend some time doing some QA if you guys have questions about um, my experience here at Garage Williams or how I started looking for my first job or anything at all. I'm totally open. So let me know. Definitely stay connected. Yeah. How did you start looking for your first job? So good question. Um, I was very crazy and started looking for jobs in January of my senior year, which made me feel better, but definitely like not necessary. Um, the way I did it was, first of all, I narrowed down my city. I, I'm from the Boston area. I knew I was kind of knew that I wanted to start working there. Um, so I actually made an Excel grid and listed all of the different PR agencies, major companies that I was interested in, and started going online to see if they had any, um, you know, relevant positions based on my little experience um, for those entry level jobs. I started doing um, some phone screens. I think over my spring break, I didn't do like the crazy like Cancun trip or anything. Um, but I ended up going on some in-person interviews, um, some initial touch bases just so I could start getting my name out to HR, start networking a little bit, um, just so when I knew when it came time to graduation in May, I already had my name in the system, so I wouldn't be just like going in cold. Um, but actually, I think things started happening really fast after I graduated in May, once I was officially, you know, not a college student anymore. How many, you said you work on multiple accounts a day, kind of, or usually, how many do you usually take? Yeah, so um, I think that could vary by agency, but in my experience at home, they, track, they typically keep people on three teams, um, so three different client accounts um, at any given time. Um, some months, depending on, you know, if you get a new business win, if you win a new client, um, if you win a small project, you might be pulled in for more, or depending on the client's scope, if things tend to quiet down in the summertime or in the wintertime, you might go down a little, but um, I've been typically on three or four teams at a time at home. Um, you guys, you said you're like part of a larger agency. Do you like, are you like in constant contact with them a lot? So, um, personally I'm not, but, um, so Omnicom is more of a network of global PR agencies. So Cone's part of that, um, Fleischman Hiller's part of that, um, Ketchum is part of that. So there's a lot of different agencies that all kind of fall into this parent company. So from a day to day, we don't really do much with them. It's more from like a HR and benefits perspective. If we want to share, um, I think more internal resources. Um, but like someone in my position as an account executive, I don't talk to anybody there. <laughs> Level, 
or is it more appealing to say like, okay, like you helped develop and start your own business? Mm -hmm. Kind of show that more of a creative entrepreneurial type state. Yeah, um, that's a really good question. I think it totally depends on what company you're applying to, if it's an agency, if it's like an in-house major brand that you'd be looking at. Um, I would totally recommend listing some of the different pieces of client work that you've listed on, um, but I think what's even more important than just name dropping would be to show your results. Like we've talked about, you know, quantifying your resume as much as possible. Like, what did you do at the startup, or what did you do during your experience? Like, did you help draft a press release? Did you do any um, media pitching and outreach? And from that, were you able to secure any, you know, blogger coverage, any social media posts? Like, you can translate that into impressions and more tangible results. Um, for HR and the interviewer just to prove that, you know, this is what I've done, I can, at this place, this is what I can bring to you guys. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, if you work at Zappos and you're looking to go into the fashion agency, like, totally, like, let them know that you have experience in that industry. Um, I think that could only help you. Yeah? Um, has anyone ever asked you, like, use your graphic design knowledge, because I'm a graphic design minor, and I never know if I should bring that up as like an important thing, like a skill that I can add. So I've always wondered if people like use it. Um, I personally have not used it. I mean, when I was applying for jobs, it, I definitely mentioned it. Yeah. In interviews, you know, just having an eye for design, having a basic like Photoshop, InDesign, like those different um, skills, in your back pocket, I think it's definitely um, a good edge to have over someone else who might be applying for the same team. But at least in this instance at home, we actually have our own team of like in-house graphic designers. So they'll help you know our team on like say Orthlight like, do some ads, or they might be working with Ben and Jerry to do something else. Um, so I wouldn't be the one, even though like I know how to do some graphic design. I'm not going to be the one really doing that stuff. Um, but yeah, I think totally worth it if you have some like favorite pieces that you want to like show in an interview. Like totally valid. Mm -hmm. I have some business cards. Um, don't be afraid to like ever shoot me an email. I'd be happy to look at a resume. Um, and if you're ever in the Boston area, let me know. I'd be happy to meet up. Thank you. Thanks.